What is going on YouTube? So coming back today with my Rutgers football preview for 2016. So talking about a team out of the Big Ten East last year that went, let's see if I can find this, 4-8 and eight overall, 1-7 and seven in conference, good for tied for 6th. So start with the first of my three key players, and I'm going to start with the quarterback, Chris Laviano. A decent dual threat quarterback, started most of the season in 2015. I'll talk about this a little bit more later with the transition, but they are moving to a new offensive style this year, more of an up-tempo type attack, relying more on the passing attack as well. Drew Meringer coming in, new offensive coordinator. Him and Chris Laviano are going to have to mesh for Laviano to have or to have a successful season. So my second key player moving over the defensive side of the ball is Darius Hamilton. I believe struggled with injury last year and comes back this year as probably the not only the best defensive tackle or defensive lineman on the team, but probably the best defensive player. This is the defensive line that will probably be the strength of the team. They start three seniors and one junior, and they've got depth behind all those guys as well. So this segues pretty easily into my next key player, which is Kamoko Ture, a very talented defensive end that has spent most of his career injured. Right now, I think he's sitting behind Julian Pinnock Sodrick on the depth chart. But overall, if both of them are healthy, I think Ture is going to get more of the playing time. Again, this can be a very good defensive line as long as all of the players can stay healthy. That's one of the big keys to Rucker season that I did not mention in my X-Factor. Speaking of X-Factors, my first one is the new offense. I mentioned that earlier. New offensive coordinator, new offensive system. No clue how they're going to handle it. Josh Hicks and Robert Martin, running back two juniors, are going to be very key for the offense this year. They were okay, but not great last year. They really didn't get much production out of any of their skill positions. Janarian Grant is also going to be a big uh, a big name to watch out for in 2016. They're going to need big production from him and Andre Patton this year. So getting into my second X factor, and it's the linebackers. This is a team that's breaking in three brand new linebackers into their defense this year. Probably looking at, I believe, Najee Clayton. Isaiah Johnson and Deontay Roberts. Granted, that can change at any point this year. Behind them, Greg Jones, Jonathan Pollock, TJ Taylor, three other names to watch out for. Like I said, the linebackers are new, so they might try out something different later in the season if it's not working out. So my trap game for Rutgers is going to be New Mexico. Again, Rutgers, the Power 5 team with a returning starting quarterback, will probably be favored against New Mexico in that game, but New Mexico is still a good team. And they did challenge Arizona in the Guild New Mexico Bowl last year. So it's not crazy to think that they could pull off the upset. My biggest game for Rutgers is Maryland. Probably the biggest rival for, Rut or for Rutgers inside the Big Ten. I think these two teams will be duking it out at the bottom of the Big Ten East this year. Uh, both teams are undergoing a little bit of transition of a transition phase. At least on the offensive side of the ball, and both teams are facing an uphill battle in the Big Ten this year. So get into my record prediction for Rutgers, and I think they're going to go two and ten. I think Rutgers is actually on the upswing. I, I kind of like the tra or the move that they're making with the offense, but this has been a team that really hasn't had a great season since they started out nine or nine and zero in two thousand six. Like I said, I think you're heading in the right direction. If if you're a Rutgers fan, I, I hope that's good news to you. Again, the up-tempo offense, it's just a trend that's happening in college football right now, and I think it's a good way for Rutgers to go, considering they can recruit pretty well in the Northeast. So that'll pretty much do it for my Rutgers preview for 2016. I'll be coming back later with my Cal preview, and that'll wrap up today's previews. That's pretty much it. See ya.